Office Data Processing, Level 4, Microsoft Outlook, how to create a contact or a contact list in Outlook. Now, if there is people that you, you send emails to on a regular basis, you can create them as a contact so that you can just add them and you don't have to type them in or type in the email address every time. You will see that you've got an address book. At the moment, the address book is empty because we haven't created any contacts yet. So under new items, I go to contact, I click on contact. Then the page for that contact will open up where you can put in as much detail as, as you got of that person that you want to uh, create a contact for. So if you put in the contact details, you just type in next to each block, whatever details you've got. You just type in the details. The email address, of course, is the most important one. Make sure that you don't make any spelling errors or space errors while you are typing the email because that can make a huge difference. The email will not be sent if there's any spelling errors in your email. You can put in the web page address, the IM address. You can put in a business telephone number, a home telephone number, a fax number, a mobile number. You can even put in the address of that person. You can also add a picture for that contact. If you've got a picture of that contact or you've got a uh, company logo for that, con for that contact, you can add it wherever your picture is. Is it on the desktop in your student files? You look for the great picture, you click on it, and you've added the picture to your contact. Now, in the exam, you can make a print screen of this so that we can see that you've added all your details you can put in a telephone number this came up in last year's exam where you had to create a contact with all these information and you had to type in fax number the mobile number and then add the picture. You can make a print screen by placing print screen on your keyboard. Go to Word, open a new blank document and paste it so that you can, we can see that you've added the details in the correct position. Now, after you've created your contact and you've put in all the details, you have to save and close. If you don't save and close, or if you've got more contacts that you have to add, you can click on Save and New. If you click on Save and New, you will go immediately to the next one where you can add your next contact. If you click on Save and Close, that is when you are done, and you will go to your uh, normal screen again. Now, in the address book, when we click there now, there is my contact details that I've entered. So if I have to create a new email, instead of typing in the email address, I can go to address book. I can just click on the contact that I want to add and it adds it automatically. If I want to add another one, I go to address book, click on the other contact and it will add depending on how many people you want to send it to. Creating a contact list just saves time. So every time you send an email, you can just go to your address book and you can select the person or the email address that you want to send it to. It's like your uh, contact list on your cell phone where you just click on the name and you dial the number. You don't have to put in the number every single time. I can also create a contact group. Let's say, for instance, I want to send messages or emails to all of you level fours. Instead of clicking on each contact, I can create a group, contact group. I can give the group a name, ODP level four, let's say DA. Then I can add members to that group. 
by clicking on add member. I can either go and fetch those addresses from my address book that I've already got, or in our case, we will have to create a new email contact. Once again, the display name, let's just put in names here, made up names, email address, And then I click on OK. I want to add another member. I click on Add Member, New Email Contact. I put in the email address. And I click on OK. I can add as many members I want to, to this group. Once I've added all my members, I can click on save and close. If you are not going to click on save and close, your, your, your emails won't be saved. So I click on save and close. So now if I go to my new email and I want to send an email to that group that I've created, go to my address book, there's my group. The names are there also as, as, as single names. I can just send it to one of the names also. But if I click on the group, double click, and I click on OK, I'm sending the email to the whole group now. All the names and email addresses that's created in that was saved in that group, that this email will be sent to them. So I want to create a group. New. I go to contact group, I give my group a name, I click on add members, I go to new email contact and I type in each email on display name. As I go along, when I'm done, I click on save and close and my group will be saved. If I create my new email, I can just go to address book and there's my group that I've created. I can just double click on the group I can click on OK and the email will be sent to the whole group. Attach a file. I go to attach a file, go browse. I go look for my file and I attach it. If I want to insert a signature, click on signature, choose the signature or I go and create a new signature which I can attach to all my emails.